Hi, I'm Jade. Welcome in. Thank you. So where are we? We're actually in one of the many lab spaces UNSW has to offer. More specifically, we're in the Willis Annex building on our Kensington campus. Amazing. Can you give us a tour? Yeah, sure. Come on in. Thank you. So what are you studying? I study a Bachelor's of Engineering and I major in Mechatronic Engineering. What is, what's that mean? Um, it's a combination of electrical, mechanical and software. So think robotics. And why did you pick that major? Um, so we actually have 18 different specializations, which is a little bit for everyone. Um, that was super exciting, but because I didn't know what I wanted to do, I actually opted for a flexible first year, which gives someone a chance to do and explore a little bit of all 18. Um, so the 18 come with mechanical, chemical, civil, electrical, to even quantum, photovoltaic, and me mechatronics. But when I was doing my flexible first year, I originally wanted to do manufacturing. So this is actually our manufacturing and solids lab. So this space is used to make all sorts of different composites and materials, such as carbon fiber. Um, but when I did my first electrical course and my first coding course, I actually landed on mechatronics myself. And so can you tell me a little bit about a project or something that you would be working on in your actual course? Yeah, so I'm actually part of the student project called Redback Racing. And I'm actually about to show you our very own lab space. So come with me. So this is the Redback Racing main lab space. We actually have two cars this year. We have RB23 and RB21G. Um, it's a little bit messy, but we like to think it's in our truest form, as many of our students and engineers are currently still working on this car as we come up to our annual competition. So students actually build these cars? Yes, so this is RB23. Um, we actually designed, manufactured, and built this whole car from square one at the beginning of this year. So within the span of nine months, we have a fully functioning vehicle and it's currently being tested. And so what's the difference between this car and the one behind you? Sure, so RB23 fully built this year, brand new car. RB21G is actually a reunition of our previous car. So we built this car in 21 and 22, um, but now it's being repurposed to be an autonomous vehicle. So what does autonomous mean? So just like your Tesla, this car ideally will be able to race itself around the track with no driver in the car completely by itself. And how does that work? It uses all sorts of cameras, sensors, LiDAR sensors, so it can detect where it is on the racetrack and be able to maneuver around it by itself. And how's it going? Do you think it's going to work? Yeah, we actually just hit motor spin, which means all the different departments are actually working super cohesively together because the motor is actually connecting to all the electrical wires, which is connecting to our suspension and brakes, which is connecting to our wheels. So that's a really good sign. We've actually just hit that milestone on this car. That's so cool. So, so why did you pick engineering? I really wanted a chance to be creative with logical, and I also really wanted to make an impact within the industry. Right. And so what kind of impact work can you do in engineering? all sorts. You can help all sorts of people's lives. In our challenge program, we have humanitarian engineering, which focuses on a more biomedical sense and helping people that might have a certain disability. Um, but there's all different ways you can make a huge impact. In fact, we're actually going to go see another lab space where I personally did a course this term, uh, which was super insightful. And I'll show you a little bit about what I did. Thanks. So now we're at the Kirby Makerspace. We have a few makerspaces around campus, but this one in particular is our biggest one. A makerspace is like a massive workshop that's open to all engineering students once they have their safety induction done. So wait, if you're enrolled in engineering, you'll come and use this space, just work on projects? Yeah, from your very first term, once you do your safety induction, you are more than welcome to come in when it's open and use the tools for yourself. We have lovely makerspace staff that will help you out if, with tools or any machines that you don't know how to use. So so this is our Kirby Makerspace, as I said. I actually did a lot of work here in this year, and especially this term, because I did a course called Design 2000. So I actually designed a solar panel cleaner and made a prototype for it in this very lab. Um, all our machines range from our handy tools you saw earlier to bigger tools, we have our drill saws. Um, this whole space is dedicated for mainly mechanical engineering. Um, we have other makerspaces, one in our electrical building, which has more soldering and things like that for it. So when you were working on your solar panel, what kind of equipment were you using in here? Yeah, so we actually bought all different equipment from Bunnings and then we could bring it here to actually work on it, um, saw bits, sand bits. Um, so we actually put the whole thing together um, using rivets. So if you were to do design technology in high school, this is like that, but a little bit like on steroids. So as we get into our bigger machinery on the other side of the lab, we have CNC milling machines. Um, we get into our bigger, more heavy duty equipment. Um, you got laser cutters, 3D printers, um, and our makerspace staff are more than happy to help you out with it. So what's the first year of an engineering course look like? What kind of subjects are you doing? Yeah, so from the very first year, you're doing hands-on stuff as well as the foundation. 
So you'll be doing your first year maths, physics, mechanics, coding, electrical courses. But our key course in your first year is called Design 1000. And that's the very first course normally people will do. And it's a chance to really get your hands dirty and delve into what engineering is like. In that course specifically, you'll usually do your safety induction for Makerspace so you can come in here and build your own prototype of the thing you design in your very first course at university. So what about the second year? What does that look like? So I'm actually not going to show you that here. I'm going to take you somewhere else to show you a little bit better, but yeah. <laughs> So, to give you a little bit more of an idea of my second year of engineering at UNSW, I've brought you to the School of Minerals and Energy Resources, so come on in. Thank you. So, why is this relevant to your second year? So, for a Bachelor of Engineering, everyone has to do 60 days of industrial training. So, industrial training is where you apply what you learn in the classroom to a real-world setting, and you work for actual industry partners or companies to really get your hands-on experience. So this year, I will be doing my industrial training at BHP, which is a mining company. And I'll actually be flying up to Queensland this summer to do my industrial training. So wait, we're hypothetically on a mine site now? Yes. So this is what a mine site would look like. And the reason we have this simulation is because it's not every day that someone has the opportunity to go and see one in person. Can you give us a tour? Yeah. So we're actually standing on the stockpile, which is what all your excavators and trucks bring from the earth into this massive pile. Once it's here, it then gets sent up these tracks to our processing plant. The processing plant test separates the rock and the actual minerals. Um, and it does this through all sorts of different chemical sourcing. And then the waste gets put into the tailing stand. Um, and the actual minerals get sent to our customers, which can then be shipped off to get used. So this space we're in now, what do you, what is this place? It's called an eye cinema. So just like a virtual reality kind of vibe, this is a really cool place to really experience what it would be like to be on a mine site. So our, if you study mining engineering, you will use the space for education purposes to learn what it's like when you're actually there. Um, it is a really cool opportunity. I've been able to see it myself. Um, so yeah. when you finish your degree, do you think you'll continue working in the mines? Um, I'm not sure yet, but I think I would like to. I'm really excited for this summer particularly, so I'll let you know after I finish. And then what's the relevance for Metatronics to mining engineering? So on the mine site I'm actually going to, it's all autonomous haulage, which means all the trucks, just like the autonomous race car and your Tesla, actually drive around the mine site by themselves. And final question before we let you go, what kind of students should consider engineering? Anyone. Engineering is such a great chance to be both logical, creative. You don't have to be amazing at maths and physics, which I know is a myth many people believe. It's such a great opportunity. I personally love it. I get to do so much with it. It's so flexible. So I personally really recommend it. Well, we've taken enough of your time. Thank you so much for the tour. And I guess we'll show ourselves out. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.